So I've been uh, daily driving Nabora, which is a fork of Fedora, for, if you check my last video, I believe it's like just a little over a month, and I was going on about how I think it's the best distro for gaming, like it's way better than Pop! OS and Manjaro in my experience, and I noticed like like really big frame rate. So I got, this is the gaming PC here. Funny thing is about it though, I've only like tested it out. I still haven't, um, sorry, where I still haven't played a full game with it yet because I'm currently working on a Switch game here, which I'm still only halfway through and the weather's nice, so I'm not gaming as much. So because I knew that, hello kitty, what you doing? Hi friend. Uh, because I knew that, I wanted to put it on my main computer that I use for like editing and listening to music and using the internet just so I could learn how to use this because I only have experience with Manjaro and Pop! OS and a little bit of Linux Mint now because I've been, as you can see another computer there, I pretty much exclusively use that for ripping. You can see all my CDs, I got like a crap ton of uh, CDs, but um, when I buy CDs, I rip them to flack and then I put them on my phone and on my computer so that I can also play them that way too. So I have experience with Manjaro, Pop! OS, little bit of Linux Mint, and in my experience, like for you, like should you daily drive this? Um, I think so, like um, I think it's fantastic. But for me personally, like I'm gonna go back to Pop! OS. Like it is just, I, I don't know what it is about it. Like I like the way it looks and I, and I get it cause you can take any version of Linux and kind of make it look any which way, but there's just something about it. It's just, I don't know, I'm really good on it, I guess. Like for some reason, it was the easiest for me and it still is. Like I can I can have it installed and set up exactly the way I like it in like, like no time flat. Um, I had never used, I don't even know what you call this, like, because I know Fedora is a different type of Linux, and then there's Arch, and then there's the Ubuntu kinds. I don't know what this one was called, but I learned how to use it, and um, I actually discovered a cool program, and I'm sure I can find it on everyone. This It's called, um, let's open it up, actually. Anyways, I found this app really cool. Um, it, um, I have some files, like, um, that are just it's hard to explain what are they they're, they're like i don't even know how they get ripped like that like they're full flack and then you like where i guess they're kind of like a disc image that's the best way to explain it and this program you can put them in and separate them and get them into individual flack files and i suppose it could be useful if you were into like sega saturn or sega cd emulation because i know you you used to have to separate the way i think they were wave files this does everything it does like flack wave um mp3 all sorts of cool stuff so a new discovery for me in Linux, and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy this program. And then um, Nabora is really cool, though, right? Like because it has everything installed. Like you can game right away. It has Lutris installed, automatically as the frame counter. Um, uh, Nvidia card installed automatically if you have that. Which this computer has a, a Nvidia card. It's a 1060, three gig. But I don't like use it for gaming, just video editing and stuff, right? On the gaming PC, I got a AMD card, which is kind of like the equivalent. I forget what it's called, but like the equivalent to like a 3060 NVIDIA or whatever. So it's a good card over there. And it just like with that, uh, FreeSync works and whatever. So it's, it's really cool. Um, well, a couple other things. Like I got the regular things, right? Like Signal, got my three browsers that I always install. Um, Caden Live. Okay, I would argue maybe Caden Live. It's a little more glitchy on this for some reason. Um, it's not a big deal, just in, sometimes the one screen, if there's nothing on it, like when you first open it up, it flashes a bit. I found that kind of interesting, but not a deal breaker. Their version of like how to uh, install um, operating systems to a USB stick, that's totally fine. Um, I don't think there's anything like too much else to report. Like um, it was interesting to say the least, but like I said, after this video, I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna change it back to Pop! OS because it's my favorite. Um, one thing I did notice though, the difference between this and Pop! OS, when you first install Nabora, if you have additional hard drives, which I figured out how to do, um, you basically have to give them permission uh, to do that and like to auto mount them instead of putting in a password every time. Uh, Pop! OS, that's not even a thing. One thing I did find out, uh, strangely enough, one of my hard drives actually ended up uh, breaking. It had nothing to do with this, uh, just the computer is really old, the hard drive is really old. And I was able to save most of the files off of it, but I couldn't figure out, like I thought it was no, no bar, but it's sure enough, the hard drive is failing. Um, but like I said, um, great operating system, highly recommend it. Uh, I, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. It's just, I'm a huge 
pop os enthusiast i guess like it's been what, what are we at almost like a year and a half of like daily driving linux on like multiple computers and i still find myself going back to pop os but uh, to finish this video off i will be keeping it on my gaming pc um once i beat that switch game um i got a, a some games queued up i'm not sure in what order i'm going to play these games but i will be playing um something on nobora and i don't think i'm getting rid of it for the gaming pc because i've seen insane frame rate performance and i love that you could use free sync and i think it's really cool so if you had to ask me that from the little bits that I've seen already, like it seems to be like far. And I had man, I used to have Manjaro on the gaming PC, and I had Pop OS on there for maybe a month or two. But uh, from what I can see, uh, the Bora like annihilates both of them. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have yourself a good day.